Hello, Miss Lady. Can we check out your new bow tie? Fancy new bow tie that you just got like an hour ago? Are you over it? Long Lonnie. Okay, that's Lonnie. Today's not about Lonnie, it's about this guy. Could you stop coughing while I'm filming? Just kidding. This is Mac. This is Mac. He's our foster greyhound. We've had him for like two months. Bro has been making it nice and comfortable here, okay? Make yourself at home, why don't you? He's a very sweet boy. Um, How do I look? I've never actually filmed at this angle. It's good natural light. What do you think, mister? So, uh, Mr. Mac here. He's our foster. He's been here for some time. He's a very, very sweet boy. Goofy and a little bit blind. He does have an eyesight condition, which is gonna be making him more and more blind as he ages. Uh, so in the dark, he struggles to see sometimes, but it doesn't really affect him. He's able to get around just fine. Oh, well, now you're barking at me. It's all about Peach. It's all about Peach. Come here, Peach. Come here. Come here. Come this way. That's the other, that's the other way I asked you to go. Okay. So many dogs. Okay. I'm making this video because I have been tasked with uh, delivering this Greyhound. I have Greyhound Uber duty coming up. Usually the adoptions take place mostly in um, Southern California with Graysave. And so I'm able to assist in de delivering dogs or dropping dogs off to their foster homes or to their adopter homes or whatever. Uh, and it's usually not any big deal, especially worth making a video over. But there is an adopter who lives in Nevada. No, I just lied. She lives in Utah. There is an adopter who lives in Utah. And we matched her with Mac. Mac Attack. Mac Daddy. Part of the foster process for me is seeing it all the way through. And sometimes that means having the dog for longer than you expected. Sometimes that means having a dog bounce back and try to find another home for them. And sometimes it means driving across state lines to deliver the hound. That's why we're here today, folks. We're going on a Greyhound road trip. Come on, go on a road trip. Come on, you can have shotgun. What do you think, Mac? Wanna go on a trip? You and me, I can think of at least one person who will be jealous. On the road again. I can't wait to get on the road again. Might've got a new car since the last time you saw me. A little more suited for driving Greyhounds all over town all over the time. But uh, our first stop is the Rivian Adventure Network because we're in a Rivian. We're in my new R1S and uh, I'm very stoked to be taking my first road trip in the car. This is exactly what I want to do in this car. And uh, yeah, so that's a Charger and it is 117 miles away. It, it's, it sort of like maps out where it thinks you should stop if you're going on a long trip. So, first stop, let's get some juice, baby. Come get y'all juice. We, uh, we we made it to Barstow. Quick little run up to Barstow. Wasn't that bad. No traffic today. And um, I found the 
the uh, Rivian Charger spot, which is completely empty. It's like I'm the only one here. I don't know if it's a, a timing thing. It's like midweek, midday, so maybe it's just kind of perfect. So I don't know. Just gonna give Mr. a little walk while we charge up. Should, should only be like 20, 20 minutes or so. 99 kilowatts is a good speed, so we'll be out of here soon. Yeah, one last, one last little uh, couple of hours with, with Mac, and then he's on to his, his new life in Utah. Gonna miss this guy, he's, a, he's quite the presence at the house. Yeah, I know, every foster has their own totally different personality. I mean, they all have very, very similar Greyhound tendencies and behavioral things, but they're all so different. And Mac is, Mac is just, uh, he's a special boy. It's an interesting experience um, taking a road trip with just one dog and no other people. Never done that. Um, but he's great. He rides in the car really well, so it was easy. He just kind of got comfortable back there. Chilled his chilled his uh, his little greyhound butt off. Looking at the trucks. I know the trucks are cool, huh? What are you looking at? Looking at all the trucks. You want to play Truck Simulator too? What are you gonna do in Utah? It's gonna be so cold. It's gonna be so cold. All right, well we have a, a little waiting period here. And uh, Mr's gonna be chilling back there for a moment. I'm not gonna be buying anything at Starbucks, but I will be going piss girl in their restroom. So I'm gonna go do that. Just road trip stuff. On the road again. You ready, Mac? Time to get cooking. Solid charging session. Let's go to Vegas. Despite what my shirt says, okay, I'm excited to be in Vegas. And we're uh, we're just under 90 miles to uh, the meeting spot. Going to be meeting uh, Max adopter at a park and um, handing him over. I'm excited for him. It's pretty unusual that we adopt greyhounds out of state you know sometimes there's exceptions that are made and you know that's above my pay grade i'm just you know i'm just i'm just the uber okay hop in hopefully mr gives me five stars because my uber rating could use it actually i don't know what happened okay but my uber rating is 4.79 which apparently is really bad and not to shift blame because i'm not but uh, there have been a few instances where I called an Uber for a friend after a night of drinking at the pub. And I don't know what happened. Friends, like, let's get it together, okay? Please. Please, can we get it together? Uh, I will say that driving this car, it has definitely been the easiest Vegas drive of my life. It's quiet, it's smooth, it's got the uh, smart, it's basically a computer. You know, I'm just, I'm just here. I actually am sometimes forgetting that he's back there because he's being so quiet and well behaved. So, man loves his car rides, you know? He's gotta clear his head sometimes. Get out on the open road in the back seat where he can't see any of the road. Okay, okay. Almost there. to uh, almost stop from Vegas traffic um, as we near the park. We're almost at our destination, which is my final stop here, but not his. He's got another little drive. It's gonna be a long day for him. A lot of, a lot of car riding, but he's, I think he's handling it well. I think he'll be good. Uh, but this is it. This is um, goodbye and good luck to Mr. Mac on his uh, retired life journey to his forever home. Every foster really, really is different. They all have different things that I remember from them. Um, but I think one of the common things that I notice 
especially when it's time to part with the fosters is no matter what the time was like with them and their personality and their interactions with our other dogs and their specific journey before adoption it always it always feels you know it always feels when we say goodbye it's emotional but it's a good thing it's a it's a primarily a happy emotion but it is also other emotions um, so I am gonna miss him and I will remember him and he will go his picture will go on our foster wall and um, Mac number 10 good luck mister <laughs>